this fabulous peak could only mean one thing, Monroe Baggers. We're back on sky to do the jiggiest and jaggiest of the Coolins, Skurnan Gillian. The start point is from the Sligerton Hotel, which is extremely convenient, and there's a large tourist route, Ross assures me, all the way to the top. You'd better be right. We pronounce it in sky, Skurnan Gillian. Skur has a long U normally, but when you put in the glide vowel between the two consonants after it, it becomes short, Skurnagillion. If you can't afford to stay at the Sligahan Hotel, you can camp here, and there's all day food and drink facilities for walkers and climbers waiting in vain for the rain to stop. The path literally leaves the front door of the hotel and follows a beautiful burn for the first and easiest part of the route. I'll wager many sticky hikers have plunged their sweaty bodies into one of these clear blue pools at the end of a hot day. I wonder if it affects the hotel's water supply. Well, this is the so-called tourist route that leads you up from Sligahin. And it's very pleasant today, but beware, because when it's wet and boggy, it can be a hell. Because this is the domain of the midgey, and even worse than that, the pit bull terror of the insect world, the clegg. You can tell a clegg's going to be horrible by its name. Clegg, clegg, it's bound to bite you. In fact, one of the very first tourists to come to Skye and write about it, Dr Samuel Johnson, a man we'd never get tired of slapping, didn't much like this terrain either. In fact, he said of it, a walk upon ploughed fields in England is a dance upon carpets compared to the toilsome drudgery of sky. You don't like it stay in England, mate. And it's here the path splits. To continue up the path without crossing the bridge would take you up into dramatic Corrie Bastar. Our route towards the ridge, despite Dr Johnson's grouchy misgivings, is an almost flat walk in, but with great views back towards Loch Sligahin. The route leads south across the wide expanse of Moor, passing the eastern flanks of the mountain before making an ascent onto the southeast ridge. Obviously, with over 3,000 feet to ascend, it's not all flat, but I'll bet you worked that one out at home for yourself. And as soon as the path starts to climb, the terrain changes dramatically too. Well, when you leave the, the flat path across the moor there and get up here, there's absolutely no mistaking where you are, unless you mistake it for the planet Squelb in an early edition of Doctor Who. Yes, this says Coolin, Coolin, Coolin all over it. Savage, rocky landscape, quite unlike anything else in the rest of the British Isles. The really bad thing about it, though, that I find a little bit dangerous is the looseness of the rock. You've got to be very careful. It comes away in your hand all the time. It needs a bit of a hoover. And this is a ridge you're about to attain, which you can't actually see from Sligahin. Very exciting. Incidentally, if you knock a rock over, you're supposed to shout below, just in case it hits someone in the bones. Oh, below. Well, what a delight to skip up here and finally attain the ridge here, the southeast ridge that leads up to the summit. It's been very quick and easy so far, but then we are, as Ross assures us, on the tourist route. I haven't seen too many kiss me quick hats yet so far. But here you get a fantastic view of the whole sky ridge across the Lotta Corrie. The bridge starts off simply enough, apart from the difficulty of finding a route around and over the large boulders, but gradually things start to get a little trickier. It would be an easy scramble. Can you imagine how awful it would be if it was wet and slimy? I'm frightened. I'll tell you the worst thing. The worst thing is you break your fingernails.
Well, this is it, the tiny little summit of Skurnan Gillian, a quite magnificent mountain at 3,167 feet. And the translation of that, incidentally, means a uh, hill of the young men. <laughs> Fat chance of this film crew. Yeah. Be quiet. <laughs> But the thing about it is, even though we've come up the tourist route in inverted commas, it's still very exposed and there is some tricky scrambling there, so you should take enormous care. I wouldn't recommend it if you don't have a head for heights. But look at the superb views, quite unmatched by anything I've been on recently. Across there is an in-pin, you remember we did that last series. See, right along the Coolin Ridge, down to Sligahin where we started, the red Coolins behind me and Blavin. Spectacular!